Tempo. Hello, my Scorpio friends. This is going to be your love reading for February. I hope it resonates with you. These readings have been getting a little bit long. I'm trying to keep them down. So let's see what the fairies would like you to know. What the divine has in store for you. What love might be coming your way. What you're dealing with so that you can bring love in. Pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use the wishes your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire will, with pure intention and for the highest good of all. So why do you want love? It's a good question. Is it to make you feel better? Is it because you have something to create with someone? Is it because you feel it's your soul calling to love somebody? Perhaps you feel that when you are in love and you go through relationships, you fall in love, that you learn. You're, maybe that's your soul's growth. Your soul's way to learn in this lifetime. So what are your intentions in love? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, I forgot the other cards. That helps. Well, that would have been a real short reading. Yep. <laughs> Energy to think about while we're doing this here. Discernment. Yeah. See the truth of the situation. Use common sense and do not be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows energy. Life force is flowing through you. Life force is flowing. Open yourself to receive the power from within. So how what you set your intentions on is truly going to flourish here soon, it seems. It's about manifesting with pure intention, not with selfish intention or through egoic stance. So trying to manifest love, but using discernment. This could be about someone who's in a relationship already or picking through the crop, let's say. Making a decision. Hmm. Decision needs to be made. Card number 20 in the year 2020. Imagine that. Am I going to go for love? Aries, Leo, Sat, or sorry. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone can be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A judgment made by a lawyer or someone in the courts. Why are you doing this? What is this about? King of Swords. Well, I see a leaving a victory party or a celebration of some sort and heading out on a journey. You have won some sort of battle, possibly in with the law. And you're heading on a journey, but you've got to make a decision to let the past go, burning everything that once was, packing up, and moving toward the new. So which way do I pick to go? What, what do I do here? Which way are you going to pick? Let's see. It's heading out on a journey, so what's this one? Well, there's a passionate new offer coming in. Ace of Wands. Use your discernment when making this uh, deciding whether to accept this offer or not. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, it's in love. Look at that. The two of cups. Dying. Beautiful. Maybe someone was waiting to get divorced before they could offer or accept this passionate offer. Now we have this um, two of wands here. With, this is one of them. So you picked which one you want. And it has to do with love. It's two of cups. You found a kindred spirit. You found someone that you have mutual feelings for. Could even have curly, light brown hair. Or you could have curly, dark brown hair. Just the color of the hair in these things here. So someone has come to meet somebody, possibly when they take a new road and decide to, to take a new stance or a new something. You're going to meet someone new. Now... Life force is flowing through you. You want to have the purest of intentions, but you're all up in your head, sleepless nights, not sure if it's going to work. Open yourself to receive the power from within. What's the power from within tell you? And the one that tells you to run away is not the power from within. That's fear from within. 
I don't know, maybe it is the power from within. Who am I to say? Power from within could tell you to be running away. It's hard to say. Here, it sure doesn't look like it, though. Just do it with pure intention. Whatever you do, do it with pure intention. Knight of Wands. Not sure if you want to give up the playboy lifestyle or playgirl lifestyle. You might want to stay footloose and fancy free all up in your mind or head about giving that up, possibly. Could be dealing with someone who's been in and out of your life. You plan to do this. This all happens and now someone who's been in and out of your life comes around. And you're like, well, now what do I do? I think someone might think, if they don't know yet, might think that somebody in a marriage is fooling around on them. Now, I'm not saying that it is everybody or anything. I'm just saying. We got, we got the new moon in Aquarius coming up here on Friday, I believe, 24th of January. And people are going to have change of feelings. It's true. You're going to be at decision point, and it's going to culminate to making a decision. The Magician. Want to create a new, brand new trajectory. Possibly you are going to choose marriage, commitment. It's a very spiritual journey, whatever you're going on. The Hierophant is about spirituality. So perhaps you're a very spiritual person. Perhaps your pure intention to manifest love into your life is that you want someone that you can work spiritually with, and that's what you're going to create. Could be a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Self-employment. So maybe you would like to create a new trajectory in self-employment. Something you want to use your spiritual beliefs to help you manifest. Passionate messages coming in quickly. There's a messenger coming to you. I would say it's in the human form. That does not look like a divine being to me. So I would say it's coming in the human form. Could be coming through animal form. Uh, connecting with animals in some way grounds you and will help you see through the mire where this is concerned. Because I got the Ten of Cups next. How beautiful is that? My Scorpio friends, it's about damn time, right? Aren't we all saying, come on, say it with me. It's about damn time. Yeah, it is, right? It's about damn time. Yeah, man, you guys have been through it. Reiki. So Reiki can help you. Aligning your chakras. Opening, closing, clearing them. We are often drawn to a spiritual practice to feel relaxed or to feel less emotional or physical pain. However, your soul has you moving in this direction for a higher purpose. Hence, the pure intention. Keep very pure intentions here. This is for you to discover who you truly are and how you relate and co-create in the universe. To see beyond what you think you know. To feel the greater freedom that is waiting for you. Allow Reiki to illuminate the very truth of you. Reiki means universal life force, the breath of life. It isn't merely a process or a modality that is followed will that is followed will enlighten and heal. It is unconditional love, the essence that brings balance to all things. Open yourself to receiving the love, wisdom and empowerment that is there for you in each breath. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Absolutely beautiful. So, open yourself to receive the love, wisdom, and empowerment. Love, pure intention, wisdom, empowerment. Ah, here we go. Love, wisdom, and empowerment energy. Wow, look at that. All, wow, it's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful reading, my Scorpio friends, coming into some love. This truly could end you in the Ten of Cups energy. That's absolutely beautiful, and it's about damn time, I'd say. I agree with you. I totally agree. It's about damn time. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's pull a couple more cards here. What do I want to pull? I'm going to pull these ones. Why not? Because I can. Whoa. Directing my focus, energy, and discernment onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. So what is working in your life and what's thriving? 
feeling good will bring me far more than whatever I thought I needed. So it's about feeling good in order to manifest these things. Absolutely, I can do less and attract more. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. Manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world. Someone is in spiritual practice here. Could be Reiki and you want someone who's spiritual to practice it with and to love at the same time. Seems to me they may be coming your way. You'll have to let me know what happens in February. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Much love to you.